All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JD. In this episode today, we're going to be talking about this image that is going viral absolutely everywhere of Leah Thomas dressing up as an Antifa super soldier. Super soldier. Sounds great. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? But before we carry on with this topic, I just want to say very briefly, thank you all so much because last night we hit 46 thousand subscribers insane number can't wrap my head around it but clearly the road to 50k is getting nearer and nearer to completion it means the absolute world and again i can't thank you guys enough but if anybody's watching right now and if you haven't subscribed and you want to join a channel a community where we speak about things you really let's be honest shouldn't be speaking about and you like a little bit of british humor sprinkled in here or there well i hope i deliver that anyway hit that big red subscribe button turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video leave a like rating share this video and i look forward to seeing you join this journey with the rest of us but carrying on with today's topic yes leah thomas has gone viral because they decided he decided to dress up as an antifa super soldier and the internet reaction right now seems to be one of shock they can't believe leah thomas would dress up in such a way now i don't know if this is just me and maybe you guys feel the same if you don't maybe it's because you know i've covered so much nothing surprises me any longer but the way leah thomas has acted what they've done in the past and what they believe in this should be expected right i'm just hoping disney don't catch wind of this you know because when they hear the words antifa super soldier they'll probably make a marvel film out of it or something you know it's very on brand for them because they love everything progressive right but anyway let's check out this article by the daily wire trans identifying swimmer shows true colors in social media post trans identifying swimmer leah thomas dressed the part of an antifa super soldier in a recent instagram post shared by partner gwen luxembourg thomas who made headlines competing for the women's ncaa swimming championship while still a fully intact biological male wore all black sunglasses black shorts a black bdsm harness what the and a black shirt emblazoned with the words antifa super soldier and here is ladies and gentlemen the said image on your screen i'll leave you guys to leave a comment on this one but it definitely looks very harmless and you know that would be everything antifa stands for because what they get up to has never hurt anybody in the past has it no excuse me is this sarcasm 101 since the ncaa championships one of thomas's own teammates at university of pennsylvania has spoken out saying that she felt bullied into accepting the presence of a biological male on the team in the locker room and in competition paula scanlon i believe their name is spoke with the daily wire host matt walsh about her experience saying that she was ready to join outspoken leah thomas critic riley Gaines in doing whatever she could to protect women's sports scanlon recalled a meeting during which the girls on the team were informed that thomas's spot on the team was non-negotiable and they were warned that action could be taken against them if they were to speak with media about the situation after that meeting they really scared us it was scary and i was petrified i went home that night and i called my brother and said can i even talk about this with you is there something wrong with me for thinking that this is wrong scanlon said no there isn't but this is what they do okay they want to scare people they want to guilt trip people etc etc into going along with the current narrative and if you dare speak out against it because how dare you right how dare you have a different opinion well then clearly you should be the one that faces the consequences but leah thomas is somebody who the liberal media especially liberals progressives themselves have stuck by so much you know they've championed this person this man fully deserves to be competing in women's sports and not only that deserves to be in the locker room without the women even knowing they're going to appear in the locker room and simply disagreeing with that means you know the community is under attack people's rights are being taken away how dare you not want a man to compete in a women's sport being their locker rooms that is simply bigotry of the highest level but for those of you that remember not so long ago and we made a video on this actually also went viral everywhere there was a hearing for lgbtq plus rights etc etc riley Gaines was also present at this hearing because she was giving her testimony but kelly robinson the president of the human rights campaign sat down and defended leah thomas and came out with statements like this take a listen the other reality that we know is true is that these bad bills targeting the community are often accompanied by campaigns of misinformation and lies that sow fear and transphobia in communities the very fact that we can't identify leah thomas as a transgender woman is playing into the fear and anxiety that's motivating these hate crimes there are not all cases where all men are physically superior to all women. And at the end of the day, in this conversation, we're not talking about that. We're talking about trans women who are, in fact, women, who deserve to play in a gender that matches their sports, who deserve all the benefits that Ms. Gaines is talking about. And as a cisgender black woman, I can say definitively that my womanhood is not threatened by a transgender person asserting hers as well. So this is how the liberal movements, the liberal media feels about Leah Thomas. I wonder if she's going to come out in a statement and address 
those images. Probably not right. You should probably just coincidentally ignore those things and act like it never happened, as they always do. That image is who the media champions, the liberal media champions. And of course, you know, they're not going to speak out against it because number one, it goes against what they're trying to portray to the rest of the world. And number two, we can't offend anybody's feelings. Speaking out against Leah Thomas, perhaps in this image, would offend so many people in certain communities because how dare you speak out against Leah Thomas dressed up in an Antifa super soldier outfit. What a world we're living in, right? Even if it's somebody dressing up representing a group that, let's be honest, acts in a very violent and aggressive way, they stand for and strongly believe in anybody who's gender critical, critical of anything progressive being silenced. And you see in some posts that go viral how far they go to silence people in voicing their own opinion. We saw it all with BLM a couple of years ago. Now you see it a lot of the time where people are protesting for women's sports or anything to do with gender theory. They come out in their hundreds, especially in this country, right? We see many videos now uh, going viral of Antifa turning up to these events where people are protesting against things like Drag Queen Story Hour. And, you know, it doesn't really actually matter what event it is. They always turn up and make sure it turns out for the worst. But to finish this video off, Riley Gaines has addressed this image also, and rightly so. You know, the Leah Thomas uh, Riley Gaines scenario, especially for me, and I think I speak for probably many people maybe watching right now, brought a lot of attention to the issues women's sports are facing, brought it to the forefront of a load of people's issues, and what the women went through in that locker room and in the competition is absolutely disgusting it should never have reached a point where we're bowing down to people's feelings individual truths etc etc and just that very notion just shows everybody how far things have come but Ruddy Gaines responded to the image with the following tweet doesn't this make so much sense dot 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 i haven't specifically bashed leah thomas on anything other than calling him an entitled narcissist which i stand by because ultimately he was following the rules in place but this is disturbing and i would say just maybe just maybe who knows entitled narcissism is prominent rife within certain communities but that's just me. Regardless, again, this is the man that the Liberals progressive media champion and in the same sentence bashed Riley Gaines, who uh, was making positive impacts on women and women's sports. And it's crazy we've reached that point as well, you know, where a woman is making positive impact on women's sports and the culture in general. And really, we shouldn't have reached that point in the first place, but she's doing it nonetheless. And she gets bashed for doing it. A woman doing positive things for women gets discredited devalued yeah it doesn't make a lot of sense does it left is right up is down and who knows you know maybe i'm not wrong in saying this either they will continually stand by leah thomas and conveniently coincidentally ignore the image of him dressing up as an antifa super soldier because it goes against everything they want everybody to believe goes against the current message but that is the end of the video ladies and gentlemen if you have enjoyed today please for me make sure to leave a like rating if you're new again hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video leave your comments down below share this video but until tomorrow it has been your boy jd have a great day stay safe and i'm out peace